Never wait until you hear tornado sirens to think about where's the safe spot in your home. If you have a basement, that's always the safest option. But in a home without a basement, we need to think about some options. It is a popular belief that a bathtub is a safe place during a tornado. But we need to dig a little deeper. In this home, the bathroom is on an exterior wall. Even a small tornado could throw projectiles through that wall. And the wall is on the west. Most tornadoes come from the west, making this one of the most unsafe rooms in this house. We need another option. There is a better option in this home. We're now at the center part of this house. I can't see any windows. That tells me I'm more protected from flying debris. At the center part of this house is a small closet. On the other side of this closet is a bathroom. So I know running through this wall is plumbing, and that plumbing works like reinforcement. It's also three walls in a very small space, making it more structurally sound. This becomes the safest place in this home during a tornado. Might seem a little silly to you, but in that safe spot, if you can store a helmet, it will come in handy. Most deaths from tornadoes are because of massive head trauma. Slipping on a helmet doesn't have to be a motorcycle helmet, a batting helmet, or a bicycle helmet could save your life. Staying safe in a home with an open floor plan can be a challenge. A News 3 WSIL drone view shows there is no well-defined safe place in this type of home on the ground floor. If no basement is available, an in-ground storm shelter should be considered. Without these options, hard decisions and last resorts may be needed to save lives. Nick Hausen shares a story about a family that did just that. I've seen the destruction that tornadoes can cause firsthand. They destroy homes and can destroy lives. But there's always stories of strength, community, and survival. This is how quick thinking likely saved one family's life. I kept grabbing hold of the limbs and, until I got underneath it, and just as we got underneath it, the total you could see the wind and hear the stuff above us. The decision to leave this mobile home on the afternoon of November 17th, 2013, is one that likely saved the Lewis family's life. Carolyn was in this home with her daughter and grandbaby when a strong tornado crossed the Ohio River and hit Brookport just to the west. We're fixing to go out the door when my sister called and said that uh, it had hit Brookport. Some quick thinking and a plan in case of a tornado led them to this bridge around 50 yards down the street. The wind hit and knocked me and the baby to the ground and I couldn't get up. Well, my daughter come up behind me and grabbed me and the baby and her and the baby went in the creek. The tornado roared down Unionville Road, passing overhead, snapping trees like toothpicks, ripping mobile homes off their foundation and sending sheet metal and insulation high into the neighboring woods. The only thing between Lewis and the tornado's debris flying at more than 100 miles per hour was this bridge. I've lived here my whole life and we knew it was there and that was our basic plan. That afternoon, the tornado cut a 42 mile path along the Ohio River in Southern Illinois and Western Kentucky with winds up to 145 miles per hour, killing three people. I hope spending this little bit of time with us has helped you to think about what you're going to do the next time severe weather threatens. Severe weather action plans need to be reviewed and adjusted. Tornadoes come every year and we have to be ready. The topics we've covered, the storms we've looked back on are all included in a print version of this program. You'll be able to pick one up free of charge at our sponsors locations or here at the News 3 WSIL studios. There's even a coloring page for the young and the young at heart, and we encourage you to share yours on our Facebook page. As we move through this severe weather season, know that we've got you covered with all the information you need, but it's up to you to be aware.